Hi, this is Don Willis. You know, it's been a pretty exciting year so far for PCGS. At the Fun Show, we introduced our new shop function in which you can literally find any PCGS coin that's listed for sale in the United States. Uh, it's been well received, it's really exciting. I know I use it all the time myself. And then at the Long Beach Show, we also announced another new function, which is our digital coin album. This is really cool, it's really a lot of fun. It's an easy way for you to take your collections and put it in the old albums that we were used to when we were kids. I'm going to explain a little bit about how that works today. It's simple, it's available to anyone with a registry set. With a few clicks, you can have your entire collection housed in an album and you can then share it with your friends if you like. So let's take a look. First of all, let me show you what some of the registry participants have already done. You can go to the registry homepage and you can go over to the news tab, click on news and then go down underneath the pictures of our registry team and click on digital coin albums. There you'll see a list of all of the new digital coin albums that have been published. It's quite a bit and it keeps growing every day. Let's take a look at a really nice set. It's Dr. and Mrs. Peter Sharman's Barber Half Dollar set. We can click on that and here you have your album and we can start to take a look at uh, the coin collection that's in the album. I mean look at these gorgeous, gorgeous Barber Half Dollars. It's just so much fun to sit here and look at someone else's collection. You can uh, mouse over any of the coins and get amazing highlights. It's really, really neat. I don't know how else to say it. It's like uh, somebody sharing their coin album with you. It's, it's very, very cool. Next, let's take a quick look at Link's basic collection. This is bust half dollars. It's absolutely spectacular. Uh, you see the coins, the, the, uh, the toning, the color. It's fantastic. All the grades. You know, there, there's, an, there's an optional area on the inside cover for him to write any comments that he wants about the collection. But it's just really cool to be able to go through and look year by year, you know. Look at those colors. Wow. Publishing your own album is actually very, very simple. You just sign in to your registry, go to your sets, scroll down through the listing and you'll see an album. And you'll see it says Create Digital Album. So we'll click on Create Digital Album. And here we go. Now you have a, a bunch of options here. There's a little tool bar and you can pick the color theme of your set. You know, do you want red? Do you want purple? Do you want blue? I mean, what, what do you want your book to look like? I can also click Autofill True View. And what that will do, it'll automatically fill the holes in my album with any of the coins that have true view images that are part of my collection. I can go into the album and I can look at the holes that I don't have true views for and I can then click on that and I can size the image that I have to fit the hole. It's quite easy and you can see the pluses and minus indicators that will help you out. So once I've filled my photographs into my album and I'm ready to share it with other members of the registry, I can click Publish Album. And when I click that Publish Album, it'll make my album available to, for everyone to see, just like the ones we saw at the beginning of this little clip. So the Digital Coin album is very rich in terms of the features. It's extremely simple to figure out how to use. You know, I'm using it. I'm loading up all of my sets. Uh, you'll be seeing mine published very soon. Okay, so that's a quick look at the Digital Coin Album. You know, I think the Digital Coin Album's taking the registry to a whole new level. It's really exciting. We're having a lot of fun with it. And why don't you give it a try? I'm sure you will too. Till the next time.